Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Today we have the Norinco JW15A 22 long rifle. I love this gun, it's fantastic. Shoots really nice, pretty accurate. What lets these rifles down is obviously they're budget rifles. They're well built, but they're not quite finessed and smooth in action. Now, the, the bolt isn't too bad on this, but it does get a bit sticky. So I'll just take the bolt out. I'll just demonstrate sh quickly. You know, it it's not bad, but just, it's not loaded. So I'll just take it out. When the trigger feels good on this, Really? Alright. <laughs> Hence, Mad Dog Air Guns. So, the bolt, I don't want to take any of the machining back. Uh, it's, it is pretty good, but I just want to polish it uh, and smooth it up a little bit, like round here where that block goes into the... Um, when you push it down, that's what goes through the mechanism and pushes the bolt into the chamber sort of thing. So, I'm going to get the Dremel out and we'll, um, I'm just going to clean it up, wipe it down and then um, we'll get the Dremel on it and give it a polish up and see what sort of difference it's going to make. Whoops, I'm just, I'm going to take something to that a little bit harder. I might put a, a sanding disc on it and just, the, where the paint is, it's quite um, sort of not smooth. I don't want to take too much of the edges off. I'll just change the disc. So this is just like a flapper wheel. It says 80, so I'm assuming it's 80 grit. So I don't want to take a lot of material off, I just want to smooth it up a little bit. does feel nice and soft now. So I've polished it all up. It is really nice and smooth now. Um, around that block piece, it's quite a bit smoother. I've just blown it all off with the airline, the compressed air. So what I'm gonna do is spray it with some silicon oil and um, just wipe off the excess. Don't want a lot of oil in the gun. And um, we'll try it. So, just give it a liberal coating of... silicon oil. Just wipe off the excess. And we'll stick it back in.
So that to me feels a lot smoother. Um, it's not perfect and it probably will need a bit more, but yeah, I'm happy with that. There's obviously a lot of work you can do to the trigger and all that kind of thing on this. But um, yeah, for a quick little 20 minute touch up, I think that feels quite good. A lot smoother. I will probably strip it all down at some point, clean out the mechanism. I mean, I bought this gun second hand. <laughs> it was, I paid 150 euros for it, I think. It had a Bushnell Banner scope on it. I sold the scope for 100 euros. <laughs> so in effect, this rifle's cost me 50 euros, which I'm chuffed with. It shoots, it's not deadly accurate, you could spend a lot more money to be perfectly accurate. I wouldn't want to do any long distance target shooting with it. Um, it is accurate, 100 yards, it's perfect. Um, you, it will shoot further than that obviously, but it's a cheap budget gun. They're only about 250 euros, brand new. Um, so yeah, this sets me back 50 euros. Obviously the bipod, 23 euros. The scope was sent to me. Um, I've put that pad on the end of it. It doesn't fit great, but it just gives it a little bit extra in the shoulder. Um, I'm chuffed and it, it feels nice now. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.